Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Danny here. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate your support. If you're new around here, please do hit the subscribe button. Today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can style this IKEA cabinet. So you've probably seen this cabinet all over Pinterest, like it's literally everywhere. <laughs> But in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can style it to show a bit more of your personality. Let's get into this, but please do hit the subscribe button and let's get on with the video. So I'm just starting off by taking everything away from my current setup. I just want to like really clean the space and allow myself the freedom and creativity to completely redesign the area. For the bottom layer, I love to have some magazines that are just I'm a big fan of essentially. So starting at the bottom with Courier Mag, which is a subscription magazine about startup businesses. And then we've got, oh God, a Vogue. This was last September, Rihanna's Vogue cover. I've got Elle, which was Stormzy's cover, um, and also Jalan Dunn, and the Vogue Women of Colour cover. So I'm gonna go in with a designer box. The Burberry item that came in this box was the first ever designer piece that I purchased, so. I like to keep that box. And then on top of that, I'm gonna go in with my Canon film camera, which I really wanna use more often, but it just looks cool as well, you know? So let's crack on with the other side. And on this side, I like to keep this basket with just a few blankets and my scarf in. Now, these are just some prints that I got from Disenio, along with the frames. They're plastic frames, so they're great, you know, I don't really want anything glass on here that could slip and break. Okay, so now we're onto the middle shelf, which is the glass shelf of the cabinet. So the books I'm gonna layer on there are New York Times, 36 Hours in Europe. This is a book I was gifted from a friend, and I just think the colors are so beautiful, and it like stands out and pops against, you know, the greens and the blacks and the whites and the grays. And of course, Michelle Obama Becoming, absolutely love this book. So I've got a statue of a Buddha, which I've had for the longest time. I actually think my mom gave me this when I was younger. So I've got a marble plate here. This is from Goodhood in London, which I love. Just really nice, small homeware pieces and a little candle from Ikea. It's like the vanilla one that costs like £1.50. <laughs> Some more prints. Again from Desenio, the same matching frames. And in the final corner here, I'm gonna pop this box here. And I'm just going to layer on top of that box by adding this H&M home basket, matches the one below, which has got a Byredo box in from my perfume and also another Jo Malone box. <laughs> You'll see a trend here. Okay, and now it's time for the top, which is, I guess, the pièce de résistance, the icing on the cake, all of that. So I've got this huge print, which I love to have on here because... It just adds a bit of, you know, context, personality. I got this picture actually with my best friend Lauren. Um, we were shopping, God, maybe two years ago now, and I just saw this picture in the shop, and I was like, I just need it. It's like beautiful just to see, you know, black people having a good time and bring that essence into my room because, I don't know, like, I do like the minimalistic vibes. I love, like, a white, clear space, but I also love to have, you know, some great images like this. And also it reminds me of her. Next up is this candle. This... I'm sure you guys all know about this candle. This is a rip-off Jo Malone candle from Aldi. I love these candles, honestly. I was a huge Jo Malone fan for years, and I still am, but you know, a girl's on a budget, and these candles are great, so I can burn them without feeling guilty that I'm gonna be, you know, without candles for years. And then I've got this cute little mirror, which is like great so at the end of the day, you know, when I come in, take my jewelry off, I love to have this on here. So I just pop this on. Now I know some people like to have their fragrances in the bathroom, but for me I like to have them outside so when I'm on the way out, so this is my ensuite here, when I'm on the way out of the shower I can pop it on or before I'm running out the door I can easily grab them. So I'm going to pop two of my favourite fragrances on here. So one is the Udo Mortel by Byredo, obsessed, and this is just a Zara perfume, I think it's called Gardena, very cute, and they just look cool, I like to have them on there. I usually actually have some fresh flowers there, but I'm out at the moment and there's a thunderstorm right now, so <laughs> I'm not looking to run out, but I can insert a picture of when the flowers were fresh and beautiful. <laughs> and then I like to have these two pieces. These are butter masks that I picked up in Thailand. I actually want to get these attached to the wall. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think, but for now, because they're not, I don't need to get any more damage than they are, I'm just gonna lay them flat. Just a few more finishing touches, 
This is great for incense sticks. It's one of those holders. We'll pop that there. Then I'm just going to add another plant on here. And that is how I style this area. A good mixture of books, travels, perfumes, art. I think it's so important just to bring a bit of our personalities to these tiny areas within our homes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing your comments. Let me know if there's any pieces you think I should pick up that you've added to your area. If you've got one of these cabinets, I would love to hear that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.